few months ago, I posted a video about tracking my dog using the beacon with my SkyDO2 drone, and I was pretty unsuccessful at that point in time. I want to try again today and see if I can have any better success. There's a few different things I want to try, and hopefully I can get it so that the drone will follow my dog and get a great video of her. I'm just going to walk you through this entire flight. I may speed up portions of it, but here at the beginning, I made sure that I wasn't near my dog and I had the beacon attached to my dog. However, my wife was near our dog. But from here, you can see that the drone just starts GPS tracking as our dog moves. The drone's f trying to follow. Looks like it locks onto my wife and then goes and tracks the beacon. Our dog had a little bit of a break and then started running again. Drone follows. And you can see that it's doing an okay job, but it stutters every once in a while. And I can show you in just a second exactly what it's doing. I'll show you a screen capture from my phone. But for now, you can see that it's doing a pretty decent job following my dock. Definitely better than last time I tried. Here you can see that the drone actually starts to follow me instead of following our dog. And remember, the beacon is attached to our dog's harness. I don't have the beacon in my pocket or anything, but the drone is locked onto me as the subject. I, I ran as fast as I could to try to lose the drone, but it still followed me, followed me, followed me. At this point, it hops onto our dog. I'm not sure what triggered it, why it decided to leave me and hop onto the GPS tracking of the beacon but it did. Here the drone does a really good job at going around the fence and following our dog as it runs across the field. finally remembered to start capturing the screen on my cell phone. I'm really grateful that you can actually use the beacon and the cell phone at the same time and it allows you to get some video footage like this. So here you can see that the drone is clearly following my wife, not doing GPS tracking. I forgot that my phone would stop recording when I turned off the screen, so for the next moment, we're going to miss that screen capture. As you can see though, it's still tracking GPS pretty decently. I remembered to turn my phone back on and we got screen capture yet again. You can see that it's tracking me right now, not the GPS beacon. Sorry about the phone rotating. I didn't realize that I hadn't locked the orientation of my phone. So as I ran, sometimes it would change or orientation from landscape to portrait and back. So you can see that the drone stopped following me as the subject, then started GPS tracking. So it's following the beacon right here. But because I am a human and the drone recognizes humans, it started subject tracking me instead of following the beacon. And that is the most common problem I found with trying to track anything other than a human or a car with the beacon. If a human gets in the shot and is prominent enough, then the drone will start to track that human. And it keeps going back and forth between subject tracking and GPS tracking. So you can get snippets that are usable like this right here, you can see that it's tracking my dog just fine, but then it starts tracking me. And so you probably can't get one continuous take that is what you're looking for, but if you're only looking for short clips, maybe three to 10 seconds, you can probably get usable clips using the beacon on any animal or any moving object, I guess. All 
All right, well, I hope that video was helpful to you. I am actually recording this outro before I go out with my dog, so I'm not sure how successful it was, but I hope that whether it's successful or not, that this video was informative and that it was useful to you. So thanks again for watching, come back for more, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.